Here we go. Video 100. This is a milestone for me. This is video 100. Granted, 50 of them are shorts. So 50 longs and 50 shorts. Let's rewind the clock a bit. My first real YouTube video was February 3rd, 2018, but I didn't post consistently. I also posted a couple videos later that year when I was manic, but I privated them because they're boring and I ramble on too much. Then I started posting again in 2021, two years after I recovered from mania. And in 2022, I started posting shorts exclusively. It was late March of this year, 2023, that I started posting longs again instead of shorts. I reached 100 subscribers after I posted video 51 on February 6, 2023 this year. Now, after video 99, I have 352 subscribers. But most of my first 100 subscribers are from shorts and I'm pretty sure they don't watch my longs. So my actual subscriber count of people watching my longs is probably way less than 300. But if it helps me get to 1000 subscribers, then I'll take it. I actually heard that it's better to grow slowly instead of blowing up. Here's the clip. I would be very cautious about wishing for a, a viral hit early on in your content creation career. Here's what's going to happen. A lot of people create content and no one sees it. No one cares. And they get kind of depressed and then they find it not motivating to create more content. That's natural. I get that. But let's try to understand something. You're still trying to find your voice. You're trying to find what people show up to you for. So it's important for you to do this kind of in relative anonymity in the dark, if you will. If you go back and you look at uh, Mr. Beast, aka Jimmy, or uh, Mar Marquez Brownlee, MKBHD, you're going to see their early videos and they're kind of terrible. And it takes a while for them to find their voice, to figure out how to tell a story and how to show up on camera. And it's a good thing that that happens. Now, some, some people, I know a couple of people who with only a few tries have massive hits. They get millions of views on their videos. This is great news, you think. Wow, I'm really rewarded for this. What happens now? What happens on the second video that you produce that doesn't get those kind of results? You've now created an audience and expectation about who you are and how you show up when you were still in the exploring, figuring it out phase. Now you're going to feel trapped by the first hit that you have or the second hit and you feel boxed in. And so it's your, your own uh, uh, prison through your success. And it's not a great place to create because what if you want to do something totally different? If you do that, what happens is you'll start to see people unsubscribe from your channel or give you a lot of criticism that I did not show up for this other kind of content. So you're kind of boxed in. So I much prefer to be able to work in anonymity in obscure uh, audiences and places where I can still develop and hone my craft and figure out what it is I want to say before I blow up. So here's to growing slowly. I'm still experimenting with my videos and I wish I had more to say in each of my videos, including this one, but since I can't think of much, I'll keep posting shorter videos. Maybe I'll have more to say as I keep making videos, but I'm skeptical that will happen. Anyway, the air quality is bad here in Toronto because of forest fires. Stay safe, folks.